Hi, this is Mohammed Ahmed. In this video, we'll discuss a phone case and we'll focus on making the entry point, especially in tough cases. We have a, a case of advanced achalasia, and it is very really evident that the lower esophagus sphincter is very tight. This uh, cannot open unless we put some pressure. We also notice that um, the mucosal integrity is not that great. We can see here that the mucosa uh, is inflamed to some extent, and this happened because of food stasis and chronic fungal infection. The moment we inject submucosal fluid, we can see bleeding starting. Um, in a way, this uh, would create a problem because the mucosa may not be able to tolerate the scope going on in a situation like that. Sometimes we recommend giving antifungal for two weeks. We're trying to make the entry point here. Because the esophagus is so dilated, the scope is looping. However, we managed to make the initial incision. And in spite of doing the initial incision, we have some bleeding. We're using uh, coag current. Uh, to coagulate it, but as we can see here, just from the first cut, we are already getting too deep. You can see the muscle layer and the muscularis mucosa. The muscularis probia will be the blue arrow and the red arrow with the muscularis mucosa. So the first thing we try to do here is to extend the tunnel a little bit. You really don't want to extend it too much. Maybe a tad and this will be enough, but you want to focus in this situation in clearing the submucosa and the side. I know this is counterintuitive. We always feel like we want to expand the mucosal cut, but you don't want to expand your incision longitudinally. You just want to go to the side and you want to continue to dissect the submucosal fiber at the edge of your incision. As you see here, we are just dissecting the submucosal fiber in the rim of the incision, and that by itself will open uh, the way for the uh, endoscope to go inside the tunnel. Once we get inside the tunnel, uh, you will carefully dissect towards the muscle layer. So as you see here, when we're dissecting, we are uh, leaving some submucosa next to the mucosa. That's to prevent any mucosal tear. So we are helping against the muscle when we are doing this submucosal tunnel. And now we finish the tunnel. In retroflexion, we can see the tunnels extended uh, to the lesser curvature of the stomach. Creating the maarami, there is two ways of doing it. You can do full thickness cut. Um, I prefer to do only cutting of the circular muscle and leave the longitudinal uh, muscle uh, in place. Uh, in theory, that can uh, decrease the risk of reflux. So you will cut initially the circular muscle till we find this plane between longitudinal and circular muscle and we'll continue dissecting uh, through that. When we are doing this, we can either place the muscle at 12 o'clock and dissect or we can place it at 6 o'clock and dissect as we see here. If you dissect at 6 o'clock, you have to be careful not to extend your needle into the mucosa and create uh, a hole in the mucosa. That would be a direct uh, perforation. Uh, so you would like to prevent this uh, from happening. And putting the muscle at 6 o'clock requires much better control of your endoscope. Uh, it is always fine to put your muscle at 12 o'clock uh, to be more uh, safe. So we see now, right now that the lower esophageal sphincter is wide open and now we're going to close the mucosal entry and as we can see we are both short clefts. I prefer short clefts because they will not hit the wall on the other side and we'll put the incision size at 6 o'clock and we'll gradually put the clef one by one in a perfect line. How you can do that? You would like to put the opening of the clef in the middle um, of the incision as you see here not too much to the right or to the left that will allow you to make a perfect line and this perfect line will really maintain good closure uh, of the entry site and it will allow you to see the spaces between the clefts to make sure that uh, you don't need to add any additional clefts thank you for listening i hope this was helpful today see you in another video bye bye